What is up, you Jug Grats? So, uh, there have been some changes and things that may have not been mentioned in the previous troubleshooting video um, for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered and its various bugs and glitches and errors, which still to this date have not been patched out yet. But um, in terms of the game with the out of memory error issue, so. Um, while you're in your Steam library, Steam apps, common, and then under the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered folder, you want to make sure you have this folder here, and uh, in case you don't have this folder created, you can bring it over from Ghost, you can bring it over from other Call of Duty games. Um, I'll also have a link in the description with these files and this folder in there, so you can dump it right on into this, uh, this folder. So it's there, because that is also very important and part of the fix for that problem. Um, that and then also as originally stated we've got the advanced system settings under performance we click on settings we go to advanced virtual memory change then you select the drive which the game is installed on you do custom sizing something to somewhat similar to what I have and then you click on the set it sets it in place so you see a change right here so the paging file size is much larger than uh, than the original and it's not managed by the system um, honestly I've, I've even seen the fact that if you go here and you change it and you do set and then you put it back to system managed size hit set or no paging file and set um, it'll automatically just like somehow make it work it's just the fact that you change the page filing I guess refresh it or something um, of the likes and then if that still does not work you have to restart your computer in safe mode now if you're on windows 10 you basically go to start menu hold down your shift key and hit the power off button and uh when it when it does that it or restart button sorry and when it does that when it restarts back up you get this big fancy blue screen for troubleshooting um and i definitely recommend i don't remember the steps exactly but there's specific like things you have to hit on to get to boot in the safe mode um so if anything booting the safe mode just do a quick google search um there we go right off the windows page uh from settings okay so you can also do it from the settings press the windows logo key and the i key boom on your keyboard to open settings no it doesn't work because uh, I have gaming mode enabled so disable gaming mode there we go settings and then update security recovery uh, advanced startup restart now right yes there advanced yep advanced startup reset now so get put you in the advanced mode you go to troubleshooting advanced options startup settings restart and then after it restarts, uh, you can select 4 or F4 to boot in safe mode or 5 or F5 to boot in safe mode with networking. Now, I did F5 for safe mode with networking, so I had an internet connection, so I could at least connect uh, to the online services and everything. And then once it launches, it starts doing the, the rendering of the cache, close it out, restart your PC as normal, then start the game, and then it'll work. Um, I did the original video where I, I got it to work and it fixed after the paging file thing in the players 2 folder. That worked for me for like a week or two. And then boom, it hit me again with the out of memory error. So I had to do the reboot into safe mode and start it up again. And then I had another issue where I had the, uh, the common underscore MP whatever folder issue or file issue. And then the game wouldn't start again. So, uh, I had to verify the integrity of the cache of the single player campaign to then restart my computer after I verify the cache of it so it downloads all the files. And then I run remastered and we are in business. Word to your mother. So, that worked out pretty good. Now I just gotta cancel out this. Yep, cancel it. I don't care. I have a. Oh, it's downloading updates. Would you look at that? Um, I bet you they don't fix any of these problems that we're having to fucking even start the game. And by the way, the single player, um, I, I haven't even been able to play the single player at all. Like, at all. Because I try to launch it, it gives me the same out of memory error. I have no idea how the fix for the multiplayer doesn't 
carry over into single player because it's the exact same folder. Like, I just don't get it. They, they're they literally in this one folder. I put it all in here, and I, I still can't play the single player. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty much retarded. I played it for one minute trying to just start the game up, and every time it just crashes. Oh, is this the... Did they patch it to add the fucking supply crates in? Well, regardless, uh, that's as far as I know various fixes for... For Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered on PC. Um, of course, Raven Software is not going to fix it for us because they don't really give two fucks about it because it's just a side grade game. Uh, their bread and butter was hoping to be Infinite Warfare, which nobody pretty much plays because everybody's playing the Remastered or Battlefield or something other than that game. Uh, so, well, regardless, that's the fix to it. Got a little sidetracked, but. Uh, I mean, that's all the resolutions that I've found to fix the issue for myself. If there's anything new that you come across, let me know. I will do an update video, as I have done with this one, to make you aware of the other various fixes that could try to help you out and fix the issue overall. This has been your boy Jackal. Hopefully you get this working, and I'll see you in-game.